Hey guys, this is Renee from Floating Lights Photography. You're watching Focus Wednesdays, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create a watermarking action. I'm actually gonna show you how I create several different types of watermarking actions for my different types of images. So the first thing you're gonna do is create a new watermarking folder in your actions palette, and to do that, you're gonna come up to this little drop down at the top of your palette and go to new set. I've already created mine, it's called FLP watermarking, but you would click that and you would type in whatever you want your watermarking action set to be called. So we're gonna call ours FLP watermarking and I've drilled down on it now, so the arrow's pointing down and now I'm gonna create a new action. So I have a couple different logos for my images. I have a white logo for darker images. I have a black logo for lighter images. Then I just have my text watermarking as well. So I'm gonna show you how I created each of those and how I have them all ready to go. So depending on my photo, I can just click a button and my watermark will instantly show up there. So I'm gonna create the logo actions first. To do that, you're gonna click this little page turned page button down here on the bottom of your actions palette and it's a create a new action. I'm going to make sure that I've selected my watermarking set and I'm going to call this one uh, dark logo and I'm going to hit record. And so now I'm going to go up and place, go up to file and place my logo wherever that is. So mine's here. So I'm going to go up to FLP logo and I want this one and I'm going to hit place and it's placed it on my image. Now you can move it around to wherever you'd like and I actually resize mine to about 60%. So up here under width and height, I'm changing mine to 60%. I'm gonna hit okay. And then before I stop the action, I'm gonna change the opacity just so that all my images have the same opacity of my logo on, on them or, or my watermark on them. And so I'm gonna change mine to 60% and it just fades it a little bit. I'm gonna hit enter and then I'm gonna hit stop. So that's created my dark logo. And so if I remove this and I hit the play button on my dark logo action, it's gonna pop up exactly where I want it, exactly where I played it. Now, if, you're, if you have a different photo and this lands on someone's face or it's not where you want it in the picture, all you have to do is click on it and drag it around and put it wherever you'd like in your image. So that's the nice thing about creating an action as well. I'm now gonna create the white logo or the light logo. So again, I'm gonna to go to this page turner down here, which is create a new action. I'm gonna call this FLP light logo. I'm gonna record, file, place. Make sure I have the right logo. And this is a logo that I would use on darker images where I needed my logo to stand out more. On a, on a really dark image, the black font is not gonna show up, so I've also created this white logo as well. So again, I'm gonna change this to about 60%. I'm gonna hit OK up here, the little check. And then before I stop my action, I'm gonna go to opacity and change it a little bit as well. And then I'll hit stop down here. And so now I've created my white logo as well. So when I hit play on the light logo, it plays that. And again, drag and drop it wherever you'd like on your photo. If you also need to adjust the size, let's say it doesn't, you don't like it this big on this image, all you have to do is Command T or Control T on a PC, and then you can adjust the size to however you'd like. And to do this evenly, I'm holding down the Shift key while I'm dragging. If you don't hold down the Shift key, it does this funky place me or resize me however you like and, and I don't like that. I want to maintain the same boundaries and the same size. So again, command T or control T and then hold down the shift key while you're dragging this and it will make sure it, it maintains its um, the right dimensions. So I'm gonna hit OK. So now we've created both the light and dark logo watermarks. Um, I actually don't use watermarks on very many of my images. I use a text. I just text my floatinglightsphoto.com over top of all of my images. So I'm going to show you how to create that kind of watermark as well. 
So again, you're gonna go down to your create new action button down here. I'm gonna call this FLP dark text and I'm gonna hit record. I'm gonna go over to my text tool and my font is already selected. My font for my logo is Lane Narrow and you're gonna make your logo look exactly as you want it to look. If it has a couple different fonts, that's fine too. Um, just type how you want it to look and I'm gonna hit OK. Now it's a little big so I'm going to resize it and to do that again I'm holding command T and then I'm holding the shift button as I drag it in and it's going to maintain the same size and everything so um, I like that a little bit better and now I mentioned in my action when I started it that the, it's a dark text so I need to change this color to black so I'm just going up to the little um, color palette up here, color picker. I'm selecting black and hitting OK. And then again, I'm just going to change the opacity before I stop the action. So I'm going to turn this down to 60 as well and hit OK. And then there is my text watermark. And then when you're done, you're going to hit stop. So there is my text watermark. I'm going to delete that and show you what it's like now. So there it is. You just hit play and it's automatically going to bring up your watermark there. I'm going to do it one more time real quick just with a white text or a light text. So again, FLP white text and hit record. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Hit OK, transform, and change the color to white. You don't have to replace it before you hit stop, but I just am. And again, I'm just going to adjust the opacity to 60 on that. And then I'm going to stop my action. So there, within a matter of minutes, I've created a dark logo watermark, a light logo watermark, I've created a dark text watermark, and a white text watermark. And that is how I do all my watermarking for all my images. So I really hope that helps you, and I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions at all, you can email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.